In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to whiten and brighten teeth. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. I've opened up my uh, image here in Photoshop, and we have just the background layer, and that's the layer we're actually going to use to go ahead and start the process of creating our mask. What we're going to do is go down to the toolbar here on the left and click the uh, Enter Quick Mask Mode. And when I click on that, you'll see it's turned pink, and it's uh, in the Quick Mask Mode. What we're going to do is then select the Brush Tool, and I've got a size brush of about 13 pixels, something between 10 and 20 uh, will work good for this image. And what we'll do is we'll just zoom in here on the teeth and start to paint over them. And what this is going to do is create a pink color uh, over the teeth, indicating that that is where the mask is being created. What we want to do is try to be careful, stay within the teeth, try not to get uh, on top of the gums or in the darker areas of the mouth. And what's nice about the quick mask tool is that we can easily go and switch uh, to any of the other tools uh, while we're in the mask mode to create this mask. So I'm going to go and actually use the eraser and kind of clean up here uh, some of the areas that got overlapped uh, the dark part of the mouth here. And that looks pretty good there. We'll get some gums off of there. Okay, once we've got the teeth uh, selected on the mask mode, we're going to click out of it. And what that's going to do is create a selection based on the mask that we created. Now, we created a mask uh, of the teeth here. And uh, what Photoshop is doing right now is selecting everything other than that particular part of the mask. Uh, we did that to save time instead of drawing and painting over everything but the teeth. So what we need to do is invert uh, the selection that Photoshop's making for us. So I'm going to go up to the Select menu and click Inverse, or on the keyboard you can use the shortcut Shift-Command-I or on Windows Control-I. So I'm going to click on that and you'll see now the only thing selected is the gentleman's teeth. And what we're going to do is go to the Layers palette and click on the New Adjustment layer and we're going to choose a layer that is uh, adjusting the hue and saturation. And you'll see Photoshop has automatically applied our mask uh, to this new adjustment layer. We're going to go ahead and zoom back in on the teeth so we can get a closer look here. And what we're going to do is just play with the saturation a little bit. Again, if you turn the saturation all the way down, you're going to get kind of a black and white image. You turn it all the way up, you're going to get extremely colorful image, uh, making the teeth even worse. Uh, the goal here is to find a happy medium, so we want to turn it down just enough where it looks uh, realistic uh, without looking too uh, black and white. We can also go into the different spot colors and maybe we'll choose the yellows and turn those down a little bit more specifically go back to the master here and we can zoom out kind of get an overall look of the picture if we use the lightness uh, we could actually add a little bit of brightness a little bit of shine uh, to the teeth there we'll get just a little bit more color back into them there and I think we've got a good uh, result here so we can see uh, the after result here and the before you've got a much brighter uh, shinier uh, white uh, looking teeth in just a few simple steps